Hi, I'm Ilkay Bora and welcome to my tutorial series Lightning Sibelius. Today I'm going to show you a huge time saver which is called My Plugins plugin. As you know, in Sibelius we have lots of plugins. Plugins are the little software which automizes repetitive and time consuming tasks. We have approximately 150 shipped plugins inside Sibelius and more than 500 third party plugins which you can freely download and use from its database. But it can be really difficult to remember the name of all these plugins during the engraving, composing or orchestrating process. And using the common search by typing their names can break your momentum and slow you down while you need to work in high speed. So how does my plugins plugin help us? Before we get the answer, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you like my tutorials and if you want to support my channel, you can also donate it via PayPal link from the link in the description. First, let's run the plugin by hitting its shortcut. This plugin has 36 customizable slots and each one of them can be assigned to another plugin. You can call them by hitting the K letters at the left side of the list, as I'm doing right now, and you do not to remember any one of them or to assign a specific shortcut any one of them, since there is also a visual list. OK, let's download it. Go to File, Plugins, Install Plugins. And from the Show tab, click on the All Plugins and write My Plugins to the search bar and click on the Find button. Once it finds on the list, click on the Install button. I'm not going to click on the install button because I have already installed it, so I'm going to click on the close button here. After you have installed the plugin, the very first thing I'm suggesting to you is to assign a shortcut to my plugins plugin itself for a fast call. For this case, the button J is an amazing option as a shortcut because it's exactly in the center of the keyboard and it has the same amount of the distance almost everywhere. So you won't need to leave your right hand from the mouse and you can call them only by using your left hand. To assign a shortcut to it, go to File, Preferences and Keyboard Shortcuts and from the left tab find Plugins and from the right tab find My Plugins plugin. Once you find it, you need to click on the Add button and hit the key J and then click on OK and again click on OK. OK, we are ready now, so let's run it by hitting its shortcut, so the KJ. When you first run it, you will see such a list. To change this list, you need to click on the Customize and these menu pop-ups. As you see, at the left side, we have all available plugins inside Sibelius. So what we need to do right now is to click on the Clear list at the right part of the menu. And now you need to add to this right list your most used plugins by clicking on the Add button. Now I'm going casual right now. So you will find your most used plugins. So on and so forth. And all you need to do right now is click on the OK button. As you see, your list is ready to go right now. But there is one more thing I would like to show you. Click on Customize button again. If you click this Trace List button, and if you save your list to a WordPad or Notepad file, then you can re-import it in case you want to reset your list or in case you want to have different sets of plugins. For example, here is my plugin set which I have already saved it in a Word file and this was my set, you were seeing it since from the beginning of the video. I click OK and as you see my plugins plugin has imported it into my list. I click OK, I click OK again and here I find my list again. A very important reminder, you should uncheck this selection here, importing sorts existing list because this option will sort your existing list and it will change your order. OK, let's see it in action. For example, in the beginning of all my projects, I reset my mixer 
for the node performer by using reset node performer plugin. To do so, I call my list by hitting the shortcut J, so I call my plugins plugin, and I run my reset mixer for node performer plugin. And as you see, all resetted and it's ready for node performer. Okay, let's say that I want to have a glissando line between these two nodes. And what I'm going to do right now, I choose these two nodes and I run my plugins plugin by hitting its shortcut, so the KJ. And I call my list and then I call line between nodes plugin. And I do my setup here and I click on OK and I have my line. Okay, let's say that I want to have six systems in these two pages. And what I'm going to do is I choose all my bars and I run my plugins plugin and I call my list. And then I hit the KS and I choose systems per page plugin and I run it. And then I do my setup here and voila. Okay, thank you for watching the video. If you like my tutorial series, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button. If you want to support my channel, you can donate it via PayPal link from the link in the description. See you soon in another mind-blowing Lightning Sibelius chapter.